All right, we got the trailer park spawn. Check out our other custom spawn guides if you load into the raid and don't start at the trailer park. As a new player, this spawn is busted. It's quiet, away from the action, and has some amazing loot. Check it out. Here's how you efficiently play off this spawn. Most players will ignore this spot, run toward the middle of the map, and most likely die. We're focusing on survival. As a new player, your goal should be getting out of the raid alive and with a backpack full of gear. Follow along on our journey through the trailer park. As you can see, we entered and went straight for the yellow car. It contains a medical bag and has a chance to spawn loose loot. Right behind the yellow car is a red shipping container that contains a duffel bag. Loot that quickly and head back out toward the entrance and then take a sharp right past the blue car, cut into the middle alley and go all the way to the last red container on your left. Check the blue locker for loose loot then move out, take a left, and continue to go down toward the stack of cardboard boxes and check for loose loot. In this raid, as you can see, we got a thing of shampoo. After that, the blue container on your left has some pretty good options also. A jacket and a weapons crate behind the blue car in the corner. Once you loot this weapon crate, hop out and take a left. Continue going down and pop out of the trailer park momentarily just to hit these two green boxes. Alright, so after you loot those two green crates, come back into the trailer park and head over to this area where you'll hit a jacket, a weapons crate, and check the trunk of the car too while you're there. Sometimes good guns can spawn there, milks, a bunch of good items. It's always worth hitting. Go down now to this alley, hit this duffel bag here. Once you finish looting the duffel bag, you're going to come out, pop a left, go down a little bit further, hit this car. Sometimes there's stuff in it, sometimes there's not. Then you come in here, hit the dead scav, grab whatever's there, and then make your way to Big Red. As you approach Big Red and you're hugging the left side of this gate, listen to see if you can hear anybody on the inside of the compound. The blue shack on the right of Big Red offers a filing cabinet, weapons crates, and two jackets. These areas alone offer enough loot to usually fill up a scav backpack, which is one of the more common backpacks low level players utilize to get loot. As fast as you can, hit everything, grab as much as you can, and then book it out. We actually got a gold skull ring in the duffel bag, which is pretty valuable. Exit the blue shack and head into big red. Without opening any of the locked doors, you have the chance to loot a weapons crate, a duffel bag, and a green wooden box. On the warehouse shelving, you have the chance to find an armor repair kit, which is one of the most valuable pieces of equipment in the game. Once you loot Big Red, head out the exit and go toward the left blue shack. The blue shack on the left offers a medical duffel bag and a filing cabinet. Follow us along as we take you on what we believe is the safest route to the extract. There is a red door that can be opened and it brings you to the street. Hug the left side and go around the train and follow the path down to the river. Use the wooden land bridge to cross the river and progress towards the dorms V exit. Exercise caution as there are scabs that roam over there and sometimes a rogue PMC will be there too. You are never 100% safe in Tarkov, so move carefully. Cross the street clear any scavs that are there and you'll end up in this area move past the blue shipping containers while hugging the white wall and progress toward the dorms the campsite is the landmark to note that you're on the right track once here you'll be able to see if the black suv is there or not in the situation the car extract is not there we will head towards zb11 you will continue along the white fence pass another campsite and follow the wall until it breaks up hug left and keep moving you should see the train carts on the bottom of the valley and see the satellite tower out in the distance. These landmarks tell you that you're going the correct way. Going left until you cannot any longer descend down towards the train. Go past the train and move up the hill, hugging the left side. Traverse over the mountain and head down toward the checkpoint. Exercise caution as there are scabs in this area. Head past the checkpoint while hugging the left hand side and move toward the shipping containers. Loot this area if it's safe. There's one toolbox, a duffel bag, some loose weapon loot, and a wooden crate. Move toward the hole in the wall and continue going left 
down the street until you get to the ZB11 bunker. Open the door, head down the stairs, and that's your extract, boys. Congratulations, you survived your first PMC raid and you have some juicy loot. Head over to the traders and sell your loot for rubles. Rinse and repeat this strategy until you're comfortable and then consider looting other buildings on your way to the extract. We give you safe, effective loot route solutions that will make you millions and increase your survival rating as a new player. Thanks for tuning in and if you enjoyed the video, we hope you consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up.